Code is a tangible part of your project journey, its effect. Animation and interaction is becoming a UX decision and the approach is mostly from the research perspective. So every designer, even no-code designers, should know the ending by designing for code. So before getting into specific, it will be appropriate to say that each digital creative's usual fail to you know, find the right balance between creative direction, UI and UX design, taking little account about code and forget that every team members should be have an ownership about the, the design and all the project files during the process. So in Italy, we have a saying that says, too much is like the little. One aspect of the accessibility that often is overlooked is animation. But if they are balanced with design, improve the user experience, it's informative and also it's a guidance. So finding the right balance between animations and accessibility, let's say, is the main key value to deliver amazing project, but these for sure will change the, the rules of the game and how you prototype. So why animation is a UX decision and why it's so important for every designer know the ending by have you know, a good knowledge of the code. So we are going to cover four major points that will help you to understand what I'm talking about. The first one is ideas. So one of the mistakes of the designer is to think that creativity is only ideas, actually is um, flexibility. So the knowledge of libraries and graphic language frameworks such as WebGL or FreeJS or OGL allows you to have a vision that goes beyond the design itself, allowing you to see the site before the prototyping starts. In this lecture, we assume that the piano element could be implemented in the work page. In this case, the idea of the over animation with the elastic line that produces a sound sample based on the soundtrack came to me useful to realize the idea. Therefore, the code has created a representative features for the artistic direction. So the second one is the result or QA testing. We are living for sure in golden age time for uh, digital and sites are becoming more and more interactive. So there are a few shifts that you need to keep in mind in your process to strengthen good results. So having worked with components to build such as 3D models or triggers or UI elements, you should take care about accessibility, best practices, SEO or performances as well. So performances, there are many aspects to consider. One of them is the size of the assets. So the choice of image like WebP with a fallback in JPEG progressive, for example, is a good way to reduce the payload network when uh, the users you know, start is loading inside the website as well as to use uh, Wolf2 instead of TTF, reduce incredibly the, the, the file size and the dimension of the font itself. So you can already at this stage prepare your directory folder to split up um, you know, this kind of stuff, considering the fonts, the images and other stuff. Accessibility, so designers many times forget that uh, we build site for people that could have difficulties cognitive reading or maybe uh, people that have, you know, over 60. So contrast ratio is uh, a key aspect to prevent these kind of issues and color contrast review is a great tool to do that. SEO, so before starting the design, it's good to keeping in mind the indexing aspects. Not everyone knows, but headings, HTML headings, uh, index Google and optimize the organic research. That's why I insert keywords inside heading one, heading two, heading three, and so on. And that's, that's so important when you want uh, to optimize some organic research or maybe uh, the company make an AdWords campaign. So these elements can make the difference as well as meta description and meta tags. So another aspect is best practices. And this aspect will not just help you to have a clean and well-structured code, but will help you also to facilitate the search engine optimization. Motion design, it's something that goes beyond the knowledge maybe of a mid senior level designer, but having a knowledge of WebGL, FreeJS alongside Cinema 4D or After Effects 
uh, will allow you to not just create only concept but uh, realizable prototypes to and 3D models that can be achievable on the web. In the cases of Carol Sana's musical score in the project cases, a static idea will be have been to insert simple notes um, in the musical score. Instead, the knowledge of After Effects, Body Moving and Lottie.js allowed me to create analog docs with different JSON files format and to synchronize them with an MP3 audio and create some unique elements. The interactive prototype of the index page of the Eduardo Smerilli allowed me instead to understand the usability that will have had the opening landing page and how the user will have interacted with it. The last one and probably is the most important point and reason on why every designer should know the code is timing. So as designer, we can't assume that if we deliver UIs, then developers uh, automatically understand how to use it. So having a knowledge of code, this make, will make sure that both designers and developers are on the same page and this create an high value rules document without wasting time. Additionally, this implementation can make an incredible difference in the way entire UI design. So every developer or team member should have um, an ownership about the project files and in this way they can ask better questions and you can have better communication for example.